Hi and welcome. I'm Caroline Best of the Dove Horsemanship. <clears throat> Today's video is going to be on our lovely two-year-old Susie, renamed Karma. Karma. Sabrina's <clears throat> new mare. And that's her daughter Peyton. And today we are loading Susie to go home. Karma to go home. And here is Sabrina's trailer. Sabrina's behind the camera. And Susie came here, or I'm just going to call, keep calling her Susie, you guys, because Karma's brand new. <laughs> Susie came here back in April to be started. And she only spent 30 days here. She's part of our Starting the Young Horse course. And she did not trailer very well coming here. She has not been in a trailer since. And that was her first experience. So today she's got to go home to her new home. And you get to see just like we're going to see how she does. I had Peyton stop there because everybody knows she's leaving. I didn't mention to you guys or Janine, I didn't mention how Legend wanted to come out by himself last night and be with Susie. You have all by himself. So I let him out for an hour before I had to run out last night and do some errands. So all the horses here love her and she was winning. She hit a threshold right here as we call it very important to pay attention to meaning she stopped and it's not a normal pattern for her as they were leading her over here so she knows she knows she's going she's going to her forever home but we need to respect those thresholds and we're going to treat her with the same respect when she comes up to this trailer she's going to show me how she feels about all of this and that's part of how I'm going to assess her and then from that information as I call it baseline of information I'll determine how best to handle her because right now this isn't about trailer loading training this is just getting her home right now and all of this is a test. She hasn't had a lot of preparation is what I'm trying to say. She did spend 30 days in my method, in training. She's handled the way we handle horses here. She's in a great environment. All of that is part of the preparation. But we haven't worked with her in a long time. And so this is just information. And I'm gonna talk about a couple of things before we go and get her. Um, Sabrina, follow me. First of all, you want your trailer to be as open and bright as possible. So we've opened up the side door for Peyton when she leads her. Once she goes in, I'll get her in. Once she goes in, um, either I will go out that door or Peyton will go out that door. But you want it bright. Trailers can be very dark. And until this horse has more experience and positive associations with traveling and trailering, you want it to be as bright and as comfortable as possible. So again, this is not about training her today. This isn't training. This is just getting her on and how I would handle a new horse or a horse that just had to get on the trailer. Let's make it as good as possible. That's the first thing. The second thing is, is you have to properly prepare these horses with various exercises and development. And then you test them in the trailer or you test them over the jumps. Um, again, this is not training. So she's going to learn a couple of things. But most of all, you know, we just want this to be a really good experience. Once she gets in here, uh, one of the things I want to mention before that is you do not want your windows completely open. These are open as far as there's some air, but you don't want to pull this window down so that this is completely open because I've never experienced horses jumping out of trailers, but many of my students have had their horses panic when these are completely open. Just a big hole. Oh yeah, completely panic and get stuck. So you don't want that. Um, if this were able to come apart, like my trailer, they come apart and you can separate these bars from the screen, you can do that. But just don't leave it with a new horse. Don't leave it completely open. Sabrina leaves it open for her other mares that are used to traveling, you know, no problem. But again, we have a, a new horse, a baby, and she already came here and she wasn't so great with the trailer. 
Okay, I also have my rope halter here. So when I go up to take her from Peyton, I'm gonna switch her in this. It's longer. Um, if she pulls and panics, I have a lot more control over her, for the lack of a better word, through this halter because of the pressure points. It's just, it's a lot better for training, so to speak. So we will um, switch. But this is great. And Peyton's part of her new family. So they get to do some bonding up there. And I'm going to go grab her. I get questions all the time, specifically about trailer loading and jumping. <clears throat> and you have to prepare your horses for both. You can't just expect them to load or jump. Okay, and even though horses naturally can jump, horses that aren't, don't have a natural proclivity or um, desire to jump, it can be a really scary thing for them. And of course, the trailer, when you have a young horse and you go about introducing the trailer to them, the, a young horse should be naturally curious. And one of the ways that I help young horses is I will put one of my more experienced schooled horses on and off the trailer in front of the young horse. Maybe I'll load one of my older horses on and then load the young horse so that they get to learn from the older horse. And if the older horse is comfortable, obviously, and not panicking, then the young horse doesn't panic either. So there's a lot you can teach the young horse and help the young horse with an older, more experienced horse if you have that ability. Or maybe you're at a, bo at a boarding barn and you only have your one horse, but maybe someone else's horse is fine loading. So use that to your advantage. <clears throat> so we're just here to make it be a very good experience because she's going to have a lot more. Hello, Peyton. You remember me? Yes, your other mother. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Oh, God, you're so cute. What a little love. Look at that sweet little face. All right, my dear. Come here, sweetie. You can just take that halter off, babe. <laughs> oh, the buggies. I know, sweet girl. Oh, the buggies are bad. Thank you, Peyton. All right, little one. We're nice and calm. I love it, Sabrina. That was excellent of you because you and Peyton went out to get her when I came over with the camera and I noticed as I was coming in that she had stopped. You obviously noticed and you didn't force her to go. You stopped and you loved on her. And I asked what was going on. You're like, she stopped. I'm going to wait. And I said, yep, wait. That's number one, you guys. Look how quiet and sleepy and dopey this little thing is now. When she first stopped, she was tight, she was apprehensive, and then she hollered. And we had a moment where Sabrina did where she could have made it or, or make it or break it. And she made it. She made that moment more positive and calm. Good girl. I'm not saying things can't get worse from here. <laughs> but we really want to work as easy as possible for this girl. Not make it a stressful situation. We don't want to make it a fight. I'm just going to walk her up here. See if she'll explore and smell and be curious. Because it's a, you know, it's a trailer. It's a little dark. She's got a ramp. She's not so great with the wash mats what you looking at oh the ears what is that oh here comes the stress poop see they already know the horses always know she already knows that this is for her and i love that the rest of the horses are not here they've already said their goodbyes they have they've already said their goodbyes her best friend is precious paula's horse who's out there so, the, you know, this is cool. None of my guys are hollering. Nobody's here. They've all been, they all know what's going on and they're here to support you going to your new home. Yeah, go ahead, good girl. Curiosity is the opposite of fear. Don't force it. Often when I would take in horses for training or retraining, I would go pick them up and 
you know, I never forced it. Take the time it takes in the beginning, it will take less time. Trust me. Never had a horse take longer than an hour, no matter what, because I never forced it. Am I eating? No, we can't eat though. Come on. Did you put any hay in here? Not good either. That's the other thing I want to mention. So put hay in here, and you want really good hay. You don't want crap. You want, real, you want this to be divine. You want this horse to go in here for all the right reasons. You always want excellent hay, top quality hay. You want it as bright as possible. You want to be smart. In the beginning, you always want two people. So when I would go pick up a horse that was not easy with trailer loading, I always brought one of my students <clears throat> so yeah, you can grab some of my really good TNA, Sabrina, for her, and uh, Haynette, obviously. So we're missing that. These doors I'm, are not safe, you guys. Typically, these would be um, clasped or pinned to the side, like my trailer over there because she could easily cut herself. This is how accidents happen and I could get hurt, but there's nothing we can do about them. Um, they, they, don't, they don't close or on the, you know, you can't strap them. But you just have to be really careful and be very mindful of these things. So this is great. She's already checking everything out. And if she goes on, let her go on and, and bring her off. I'm not ready for it load completely. <laughs> but curiosity is the opposite of fear. That means she's pretty bold and courageous. These are going to be your sisters, your new sissies. Who you're smelling. She's the sweetest thing. She's so um, well socialized here. So this is great. It's that being well socialized, she's already exploring the new smells of the new horses that are going to be her new family. So it's really awesome. So what would I do if she didn't get to this place? I wouldn't be in a hurry. I still would wait for the hay and I would help use right now. This would be the only time because we just want to get her on nicely and get her home. This would be the only time I would use food to help motivate her, encourage her, get a really good experience. It's the only time though. Good. She's exploring when she paws. So again, if she didn't get to this point and kind of parked her feet out there, I would use some of the hay to kind of move her a little bit closer, a little bit closer, a little bit closer. And if your horse doesn't naturally come up like she is, then we would have to start applying some level of pressure. Good girl. She's got enough room to get in there and turn around. Just be careful. You don't get hurt. She doesn't get hurt. Good girl. And this might be where, oh my gracious, I am so proud of you. You might go on too. Yeah, I'll go on with you. I'll go on with you, sissy. Yeah, that's a good girl. That's a good girl. So yeah, you can come on here too, everybody. Patience is, is key here. Well, come on. See if she'll come up with me now. That's a good girl. Eventually, you're going to want your horse to load themselves. That's the way I like it. Oh, another poop. Oh, God love you. God love you for trying. That's awesome. Yeah, eventually, you're going to want your horse to load themselves. So I'm all about teaching them to back up. I really don't want her to learn to turn around at all because there might be a situation where she can't in another trailer and that could really get her in trouble. So this is kind of an approach and retreat. We'll go in and we'll come back out. <laughs> this is going to be really easy, Sabrina. <laughs> oh my gosh, really easy. I mean, she already loaded herself. So go ahead and tie that up, Mama. She already loaded herself, and then I just, I'm giving everybody every possible, yum, yum. Yeah, we'll get you on there. Every possible uh, hypothesis. <laughs> what could happen? What do you do? 
here the mama's oh the yum yum oh look at that so this is really going to be easy as long as you guys keep doing it right okay sabrina yes, and just yep i mean so from here once she goes home and then sabrina and her daughter they trail ride a lot they go off the property they go to shows and then start bringing her start bringing her with one of your girls that's uh, obviously has no problem in here and so that every time she comes in she, it's always a good experience right she's with one of her new best friends she's with good food she's with you the whole time and then she's just getting and man I would take advantage of that not next week of course but start taking her to your schooling shows and just getting her getting her used to all of that it's called experience so many of our horses have no experience everything blows their mind so be careful something could spook her and she could turn around and so my arm is like ready <laughs> plus she knows me so we've already had this work she's like what are you raising your arm for i'm just ready to block myself because i know these things can happen so again Let's teach her to back up. Look, isn't this great? She's already learning. Just teach her that backing up is the only way in case something shit hits a fan, a branch falls, somebody scares her, watch your head, that she learns to back straight up. Be really careful. Don't just start letting your horse turn around in here. And if they get in here and then they get really rammy, try to control it and back them up. Try and control it and back them up. So I'm being really relaxed because I know this horse and I and I know my skill level but for those of you that might be a little nervous be a little more cautious hold her a little bit more closely bring her on in this is excellent let her eat another poop and then back her up good girl she's like I don't know how to get this out of the hay net she's trying she's like this is too much work come here Good girl. Good girl. We are doing so well. Be careful of these sides. You don't want her getting her head underneath of that, okay? Let her see it. Let her see it. But you got you have to be really aware. So for you guys, before you even bring your horse to the trailer, check everything. This is an older trailer, so most of them are always going to be able to tie back. They're going to be set differently. Um, so you don't have to worry about this being a, a, a hazard, but make sure you got air, you got an out, you got an opening, you have help, you can get out easily. You've got somebody ready to, you know, you're ready to clip her while somebody's outside. And we'll show you that ready to um, put this tailgate up or ramp up. Good girl. I'm going to transfer her back into her other halter, Peyton, because she's being... She's easy. She's really easy. Watch your head. <laughs> so you guys need to set yourselves up. Thank you, love, for, you want to do it? Oh, sure. Set yourself up for success here. Assess the situation. Assess your horse. If your horse is already tense and nervous, take your time and build on that. Don't rush anything it'll just fall to pieces and then you guys are going to have a potential accident and your horse is going to be all worked up and every little thing is going to drive them crazy <clears throat> all right so honestly once i mean her eyes are shut <laughs> once we get her loaded which we're going to do we're out of here there ain't much more to do okay a short video I can't really show you and not that I would I mean I wouldn't be fighting with her right now you guys I wouldn't be listen when I tell you that it's never taken me more than an hour and I've probably loaded at least thousand horses all with problems do take the time it takes so it takes less time use everything you can to make this a good experience because you're just trying to get them home right now or you're trying to get them to the training facility to change things do your changing when you have the time when the horse comes home do your training and your changing there all right you watch yourself i'm going to come up over here oh you got that okay babe all right so 
I don't care if you tire, you want to go in and tire. Sure. Okay. And hi, sweet pea. And I'll uh, pick up the ramp. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good girl. So just pull on her. See, yep, you got her. Give her some guidance. Good. Good for waiting. I'm going to try and push her butt over and see how she does. Good girl. Yeah, it's a good baby. That's a good baby. Now, she might haul ass coming out of there. Okay? You got to think about all this stuff. So I'm giving you, write this stuff down. She might haul ass. Peyton, I need you not to tie her right now. Do not tie her. Ever. So let's talk about this. Do not clip this horse, your handler, until this tailgate's up. What'll happen is you clip her. She doesn't know any different, Peyton. She's going to panic or she might just naturally back up and not... Um, remember, she's a bit of a pullback already because of the head trauma that she... This is our training already with her. So, Peyton, you don't tie her, the newbie, until somebody puts us up first. And she understands how to stand in there and keep her butt over. You got it. So pull her up. Pull her up and help her out. Pull her up. Good. Excellent. She already knows. This horse is already thinking. Good girl. Talk to her. Good girl. You don't do the eh-eh. Doesn't work. Just talk to her because you're giving her negative energy right now. Just talk to her. Don't give positive, soothing talk. No eh-ehs. Just talk. Now tie. Now tie her. Because now she's going to get claustrophobic. And then you'll get yourself out of there. So yeah, don't tie these guys. You need two people right now. Don't tie them until the butt's up. And even when you're getting ready to load this horse, you have to make sure that she doesn't haul ass backwards on you. So be ready to drop this tailgate fast. So just set yourself up for all these little things. All these little tips here. Some great tips. All right, we are secure. Right, Mama? Did I secure your trailer good? Okay, that's all I got. They got to get on the road, y'all. So you've got great tips. I want you guys to take notes, okay? Write down all the things to check before your horse goes in there. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. Make sure that you're ready for your horse and take your time. Thank you. May you always be one with your horse.